Hi, today I would like to present you a, a final solution for the uh, uh, uneven printer bed in Creality uh, K1. So stay tuned, you will see that uh, there is a nice solution you can implement on your own to s finally solve uh, this uh, common uh, problem in K1 Creality printers. As you can see on the uh, picture, uh, there are no screws we can adjust uh, to level the bed. There were uh, different methods uh, you can find in the internet uh, that you can place some uh, spacers here, here and here. And in this, this way uh, you should achieve an even bed. But it didn't work perfectly for me. So I find out another solution how we can uh, do it. Before we do it, you need to remove the right uh, uh, side panel of the printer that you can get access uh, to this part of the printer. The printer firmware should automatically uh, detect the places where the bed is warped and uh, recompensated during the print, but it's not uh, the perfect solution. Uh, we can see right now here on the uh, picture that there are some pressure uh, sensors and there are uh, no screws that we can adjust here, but uh, it won't stop us uh, doing it. So first of all, you need to uh, cut uh, the zip ties that you can release this cable and uh, remove uh, the bed. I implemented uh, the uh, old uh, well-known uh, solution from uh, Ender uh, 3v2. Uh, to in a K1 uh, printer. So as you can see here, I, I added some uh, knobs uh, and a silicon spacer uh, for uh, of them to adjust uh, the height of the print bed and then uh, level uh, the printer uh, bed uh, manually. The whole process is not uh, so complicated and I will show you some diagrams how uh, you can uh, do it. First of all, uh, you need a, a M4, a 40 millimeter long uh, screw that you can uh, place in your print bed. Then there will be a, a bunch of uh, spacers uh, that you can add uh, under the print bed and also uh, some M4 adjust knob that you can also buy. And with this knob, you can adjust uh, the uh, bed height and in this case you will remove uh, the uneven places uh, in your bed. Uh, let us have a detailed uh, look uh, at this method. So first of all we are uh, inserting a screw uh, in the print bed. Then we are it's a M4 a screw and we will fix this screw with M4 a nut to the uh, print bed. Then we will put some uh, M5 spacer. M5 is bigger than M4, so it means that it will be loose, but it's uh, uh, okay. Then we will add some M6 spacer, a little bit a bigger one, uh, that will lie uh, on the silicon spacer from Creality. The silicon spacer it has 50 millimeter diameter and we need to cut it to 10 millimeter height. Standard uh, spacers have about 17, 18 millimeter height, so we need to cut it. Then we will add some M6 spacer to squeeze the silicon spacer between two metal spacers. And beside that we need to have two uh, pieces of M5 spacers with the 10 millimeter diameter that we will uh, that we can move um, the silicon spacer uh, from the pressure uh, sensor. The pressure sensor uh, cannot uh, be squeezed uh, too much so we need to put uh, those uh, spacers that the pressure sensor uh, works uh, correctly. And uh, below the uh, pressure sensor, there is an M5 nut, uh, some M5 uh, spacer and uh, the adjustable M4 uh, knob. Uh, on the second slide, uh, I uh, defined the list with all necessary parts you need to buy. And uh, th those are all parts for all 
uh, four uh, screws uh, uh, we need to uh, add so it means 16 times uh, m5 spacers 8 times m7 spacers uh, 4 times m4 nuts 4 times m5 nuts uh, you should take uh, four extra nuts because sometimes the uh, uh, M4 adjustable nuts are too short and you need to move it uh, uh, away from the, uh, the frame holding the uh, print bed. It was not necessary in my case, but maybe in your case you, you, you need to do it. Uh, for uh, three other uh, uh, points uh, are the parts you can order in internet so m4 uh, screws uh, 40 millimeters long uh, for uh, m4 adjustable nuts and of course uh, for uh, times silicon spacers 50 millimeter diameter and you need to cut it to 10 millimeter height i order it all the parts on I AliExpress uh, the nuts and uh, the nuts uh, uh, and uh, the spaces I got from Home Depot, but the other missing parts I got from AliExpress. Uh, you can order the parts on AliExpress or Amazon, maybe also on eBay. Uh, first of all, you will need for a silicon spacer. Uh, it's quite cheap, so uh, buy at buy uh, at least uh, eight of them uh, in case you made some uh, mistake you can uh, use the spare ones you need to cut them to uh, the height of 10 11 millimeters uh, be precise uh, you should it's not a big problem if you don't cut it uh, even but you should do your best uh, to do it uh, we will squeeze it with the spacer so it uh, shouldn't be a big issue in this case but you should be precise beside that i order a, a m4 leveling kit with uh, four plastic knobs uh, with uh, four uh, metal inserts and of course uh, four screws uh, m4 uh, screws with uh, the height of uh, 30 millimeters uh, should be enough uh, the springs you will not need so you can throw it uh, away if you would like to start installing uh, all the parts after cutting it to the proper height we need to remove the uh, uh, right uh, side panel cut uh, the uh, the zip ties and uh, release the bed there are four screws uh, beneath the bed that you need to release and uh, put it uh, aside after removing the bed and uh, that's the most uh, difficult uh, part of the whole process you can see that the magnetic uh, magnetic layer uh, is uh, hiding uh, uh, the screws so you need to cut it just uh, press those places with your finger and you will feel that there is an empty space below uh, this magnetic layer and just uh, cut it uh, precisely. You need to do uh, four uh, holes in the magnetic uh, plate. After cutting the holes, uh, you can start uh, inserting the screws. It's very important that you fix uh, the screws to the uh, pr print bed uh, with the M4 uh, nuts. Uh, don't tight it too much, but uh, 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 tight it uh, enough that it, uh, the screws won't uh, move. You will be uh, uh, moving some knobs uh, below uh, the bed to adjust the height of the bed so the screw should not move when you when you will do it uh, in the future you can see on the picture i have already uh, cut it uh, silicone spacers that i will insert and this part is very important uh, there is a glue around the uh, pressure sensor so i put uh, there two uh, m5 spacer to uh, to make a space between the screw silicon spacer and the uh, pressure sensor that uh, it won't uh, touch uh, the glue part this is important because of the automatic uh, leveling process quality implemented uh, in the uh, printer 
when you are done with installing all the screws and uh, mounting uh, the print bed to the frame you should uh, get something like this uh, you can see there is a screw going through the print bed uh, there is a uh, m5 uh, m5 uh, nut you can also add some s uh, extra spacer if you need but it was not necessary to do it i added it in this case but uh, after making this video i remove it completely there's another uh, m5 spacer then there is uh, the bigger spacer squeezing the uh, silicon uh, quality silicon spacer there is another big uh, spacer to M5 spacer uh, separating the pressure sensor uh, from uh, this glue area that uh, the silicon spacer won't touch uh, this glue area so those two uh, spacers are lying, are lying on the uh, pressure sensor and it can move uh, freely when the uh, nozzle touches uh, the print bed from the bottom view there is an adjustable uh, knob with some uh, m5 knob and a spacer so you can turn it uh, around uh, clockwise or the uh, counterclockwise to adjust the print uh, head the most important part right now would be to uh, to configure uh, your printhead to achieve uh, the a perfect uh, result just uh, install uh, the screw tilt adjust support uh, plugin from this repository i will put the link in the video description uh, and uh, with this plugin you will get some tips which uh, screw should be moved uh, there is already a configuration uh, for Creality k1 and the uh, uh, screws uh, position is uh, defined there so it's relatively easy to do it and you can see i got almost perfect bed 0.1149 so it's very nice and i got a very nice uh, first layer let us go right now uh, to this uh, repository there is this uh, plugin, a uh, big uh, thanks uh, and a uh, guilds. Uh, I hope I pronounce it correctly. Uh, you are great. Uh, our French uh, colleague uh, prepared the whole uh, wiki. He was really a hardworking uh, developer uh, doing all this nice stuff for the K K1 and K1 Max. So once more time, a big uh, thanks. Uh, for you um, and you can see there is like this plugin uh, that you can install and uh, adjust uh, the height of the bed moving the screws you will get some tips uh, how uh, left right rear and rear right rear left screw should be adjusted to uh, get the perfect uh, print bed I won't uh, talk about it uh, in this uh, video because it's out of the scope of this video but you can easily uh, have a look on the wiki and uh, just do it as it's shown uh, in the wiki you will get a very nice uh, level but after setting uh, this up you, you won't need to uh, do anything uh, with this face uh, to get the perfect first layer and the most important part is that uh, after setting uh, everything up uh, just uh, start the calibration process for the printer and then save uh, the settings after that you can start your first test print and everything will work fine if you like uh, this video please uh, smash the subscribe button and don't forget to leave uh, the like Happy printing, guys.